Well, San Diego Zoo Global is an international conservation organization. We have uh, more than 100 projects in 35 countries around the world. And recently we've had this phenomenal opportunity to add another project or program uh, to our repertoire. And that's right here at the Cochicashi Biological Station in Manu, Peru. And this opportunity came to us from John Turborg, a renowned tropical ecologist from Duke University who's retiring and was looking for an organization to pass on his legacy, to continue the work that he started. And so we've taken up that baton and are ready to run with it and take Cochicashu into the future. To get here, it's quite a journey. It's really quite an adventure. If you start in the United States, for example, you have to board a plane, fly about nine or 10 hours to Lima, and then board another plane to Cusco, which is just a short hour flight. And then the real journey begins. You get on a, a bus or a van, and you, you travel about nine hours by road. Uh, most of that dirt road, looking over some very, very steep mountains, you go up to almost 14,000 feet before dropping down to about 1,000 feet or so in the Peruvian Amazon. You hop a boat and you travel to Boca Manu, it takes about a day. And then one or two days upriver, up the Manu River to the station. And it can take one day if the water's high, two days if the water's low. The Cochicashi Biological Station offers really quite simple accommodations, um, almost primitive. Pumas, 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 aquí cocha uno. We have a few, uh, a few houses, a kitchen, uh, some office space, but uh, we ha and we have uh, power, and sometimes we have internet connection, but it, it, it's variable. Sleeping is intense. We have little, cl little clearings in the forest where you set up your tent. Um, and then we have a wonderful trail system that you can use to get into the forest and conduct your studies and learn about the ecology of this area. It is a, a, a station that scientists and conservationists from, from Peru and from around the world can come and, and conduct investigations to try to understand the incredible diversity of life that we have here. This is the most biodiverse park in the world, perhaps, and it really provides a unique opportunity for study and understanding. Um, there's few places left on the planet that are still this remote and this pristine and this untouched. The trees haven't been harvested, the monkeys and animals have not been hunted, other than the subsistence hunting that is done by the indigenous people that live in the park. And these people, many of them, are still uncontacted by the outside world. So in a world that is rapidly changing because of human influence, to have a place like Cochicashu where we can come and understand nature as it should be, as it has operated for millennia, is just really a unique opportunity.